Oh, I thought I had the mic mute muted. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Uh, today we're going to be playing Lubu's Story in Dynasty Warrior 6. It is the last one for the PS3 version of the game. And I'm playing on Master, I'm not playing on Chaos, because there are no saves on Chaos. At the end of the second century, the world was in turmoil, and the Han Dynasty was being increasingly weakened by the traitorous Dong Zhuo. His preeminent general, Lu Bu, participated in a plot with the beautiful Biao Chan to slay the evil Dong Zhuo. <laughs> I like how biased the narrator is. The beautiful Biao Chan, the evil Dong Zhuo. <laughs> Following this, Dong Zhuo's servant, Luo Si, and his men overran Chang An. Though he should be hailed as the hero who brought down Dong Zhuo, Lu Bu was chased from the capital he had helped save. After wandering for a time, he eventually came to Xia Pu, which was watched over by Liu Bei. The capital he helped save, like he's a hero. <laughs> why? Wasn't I the one who killed Dong Zhuo? So why must I leave the capital? I fail to see the benefit in yelling about it. Besides which, are you saying that you have the <laughs> remaining there? Ah, light in the capital. The warriors are gone, and what remains in the dusty halls is ambition and greed. In my opinion, there must be a land more suited to you where you would be appreciated. You mean I should find a new path? A path that lets you fight and show your great strength to the world. And using that strength, seize all that you desire. I see. I like it. Why don't we just go and do it then? The first thing we need to do is find you a land of your own. This story is when everyone wanted Chin Gong to become a playable character. Because he's great in this. <laughs> I love him just avoiding Lu Bu's like swing, not even really a swing, but <laughs> he just knew in advance to duck from the halberd. Uh, I've got three good options for Lubu. The that has more damage and it'll have more reach, so yeah. I'll go with standard sky piercer. Yeah, I don't have red hair. We're gonna have to settle for Dawn Wave. I tried to grind it out, I could not. Say it up to like 2 a.m. to do it. And it just was not happening. We have Gao Xun acting as commander here. Get Yao Chan and Zhang Liao inside the castle. Take Liu Bei's main camp after defeating Blind Yu and Jiang Fei. Defeat 10 or more enemy units in 15 minutes. <laughs> this is gonna be a cakewalk. Just judging by the damage I was dealing at one Rinbu. Yeah, and I would have absolutely played on Chaos had they not removed interim saves from it. Because that essentially means I am no longer allowed to screw up. Like, for example, say I was playing this on Chaos, and I got to, like, the commander, and it took me 20 minutes to reach them, and then I died to the commander. Then I have to spend that another 20 minutes replaying that stage. And say what happens if I died to the commander a second time. Suddenly that's 40 minutes dedicated to one stage. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not risking that. I played Lubu a bit before, uh, 
in one of my other screens. I've played him in free mode. I've already talked about his moveset once before, but basically it's just really damn good. It's fast, his uh, triangle combo. Well, I guess you talk about it when I have match for him, too. But his triangle combo comes out really quick, so he's really good for breaking guards and getting through officers. And the fast swings and, like, wide coverage make it really easy to deal with all the peons that surround you in this game. Like, right there, they just charged me, but since I was swinging so wide, it just sort of hit them all before they hit me. You square grab. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Slam the enemy behind them, but they get knocked in front of them. These whole triangle. Just boomerangs the quad halberd. Fine, I'll come save you. I think this is renamed to a cross halberd in Dynasty Warriors 8 when Lu Ling Kui has the weapon. But Ho Ching was actually. Sao Bao wants to duel Lu Bu, let's do it. I wanna grab him. Not that I need to, I get Matt Z at speed just for fighting him in a duel. That should have connected. That did. I love that grab. That was his triangle grab. He just spins the enemy on top of his halberd. It is ridiculous, and I love it. Let me ally save the base. I do love just having Lubu's theme play for this entire stage. And it's Muso finisher. This flings a Howard around him like a boomerang. Chung Liao, where did your horse go? You definitely had one. At least you did in the cutscene. I have come for your head. What are you trying to do out here all alone? Oh, I thought Guan Yu was heading south, but he went straight up north. I guess his AI just set the target straight, uh, go straight for that base. Go. There you are. Pay for 
that Lupu. We must rouse ourselves for this fight! The horse seems tiny with Lupu sitting on it. Well, nothing I can do about it. You can get red hair easily in Times 46 Empires, so you know, when I get to that. Although it would be difficult to keep Lubu on my force's side in Dynasty Warriors 6 Empires. Just due to the fact that he is like the highest defection rate in the entire game. Like if you aren't playing as him or if you aren't like sworn brothers with him or something, he's just got like, say a 75% chance of defecting in any given stage. Ridiculously high. Bliss is already down, so... He can tear through a gate, too. It's probably just looking at his weapon. I believe each blade on his halberd has, like, a hitbox. So hitting a stationary target like a weapon probably counts as, like, hitting it four times whenever he swings his weapon. Alright, see his running attack. Got interrupted there. He's got an extra hidden attack where he'll launch someone up after slamming into the ground. Running square. I like how that has an additional shockwave. Jumping square, jumping triangle. Yeah. Jump that's pretty basic. They just ignore me. I think he did. Yeah, I'm not sure where Zhang Fei is going. He's going straight south. Oh, his AI must also be set to go after a base. Grads can be really finicky sometimes. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Uh, how can I lose to someone like this? What happened? Heed my words, Lu Fu. I shall not rest until my brother is avenged. Still alive, but okay. Lubu's tome lasts for a really long time. The downside is that he can only hold one tome at a time. 
One of the targets involved actually taking over the enemy base. I'm trying to do that before killing Liu Bei. Wow, it is still going. Okay, now it finally ended. It's not any corporal, so... I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to take this place. Hisu Yube does kill me. I'm enjoying Dice Warrior 6. My opinion of the game changed due to the recent live screens. Uh, there are still parts about it I really like, but when you play a bunch of it back to back, it you start to feel how repetitive it is. Like, there's not that much I can really talk about with characters' movesets, because a lot of it is just, you have a square string and an S string. You got a few other tats, but honestly, I don't really come up enough. Oh yeah, vermin is his catchphrase in this game. The last game really had a catchphrase. Well, there's two attack upgrades, so I guess we'll get those. <laughs> As if he needs more attack. And there's other good stat upgrades over here. So it looks like I just have stat upgrades to get. So, sure. Don't see flash on a weapon, just, just toss it out. Pay attention to Guan Yu's horse here. This is why I don't have red hair for this Muso mode. Will you not pursue them? They'll come back and try to attack us again. Also, I'm pretty but sure Quan Yu stole red hair. To better us. I don't care about what such weaklings do. Tell me. What do you think of this land being the one we talked about? I believe it should suffice. There's no need to wait. I believe this is the right time. We shall make war upon the chaos that brings war into our land. and found temporary shelter there. But even if he were to try uniting the land, there were no enemies to fight at the moment. Lu Bu's blood boiled as he passed his days in boredom. About that time, word came to Lu Bu that Cao Cao and Yuan Zhao would fight in Guangdu. Upon hearing that the two most powerful warlords in northern China would clash, Lu Bu could not suppress his elation and spurred on his horse to carry him to a battle he had no business taking part in. <laughs> had no business taking part in. My lord! We received word that the forces of Lu Bu have entered the battle! What? What was that? Wait. You're absolutely sure. There's no doubt. Oh, no need to panic. Just get him to join our side. We saw him fight at Hulao Gate. Why did he come at such a crucial time? Huh. So Lu Bu has come back. That old relic of the past. Still, I guess that compared to Yuan Shao, 
might well be a harder opponent to face. This looks like an interesting fight. Anybody mind if I join in? I think several people mind, but you're not going to listen. Yeah, we finally have more three-way battles. <laughs> I think I think we only see three-way battles at like at one stage when you want you, right? And the rest are just in Lubu's story. Take both Xian Jin and Bai Man 15 minutes. Take Wu Chao and Guan Du Castle. 1,000 KOs. Just tear them apart. <laughs> Conditions are defeat Sao Tsao and Yuan Chao. But I'm actually treated as commander. That's nice. Oh yeah, I guess it makes hits sense that Zhang Liao wouldn't be on wayside in this. <laughs> Changli, I'll just stick with Lu Bu the whole way. Ah, both of these armies look fairly strong. Perhaps I can find some amusement here after all. This story is the most, like, I like fights Lubu has ever been. <laughs> like, that's just his personality for this. Uh, I did see some people surprised that Lubu was actually listening to Chen Gong. Nice to have Shin Gong also use the word vermin. <laughs> yeah, mostly Shin Gong just has more of a presence in this story. Like, obviously, he's always been on Lubu's side, but he actually does stuff here. Like, he feels like an actual member of the team, right alongside Diao Chan and Zhang Liao. I guess I'll go after South South first. Actually, you know what looks like fun? Let's go straight into the center. Look at all those guys. officers. Here's a deadlock grab. Impales someone, spins him around, and then yanks one of his halberds up. Game can barely handle it. Nice that Wind Cho is the last man standing. Well, was. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Can anybody At least he put up a good effort. With a decent challenge? Can anybody provide me oh, we're going to hear that for a while, aren't we? 
Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Like, they're both smart enough to realize we can't just let this be. More like your allies took it. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? I was gonna grab him, but I accidentally killed him. An excellent display of We shall fight again. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Get used to hearing that. <laughs> He's gonna ask that question a lot. Take uh, this buy bond the right there. One of the targets is taking that. Must build some momentum. Charge the enemy. An ambush. Don't move. The enemy wants us to panic. Oh, Gao Shun. Just announcing his achievements and just morale is skyrocketing because of that. There's two enemy armies here, but one morale war. <laughs> I'll come back for you, Sato. Good, I got the lieutenant. Fuck that guy. First time I've actually been inside Guandu Castle. I 
And I was in there for a little bit when I played as a... Uh, that was after this stage, and I purposely let Yuan Chao break through, just to see what happened. Rude. All right, assholes. All right, Cheryl, it's Duel. Who's coming after me? A lieutenant? Boring. Oh, Sal Sal himself. Sure. Tighten the defenses around the base's perimeter. We cannot win this battle without it. <laughs> They're coming in for support. We're fighting with WWE rules, I see. Where there are no rules. Still one. That sounds really not happy with himself. This base is all mine. To your reputation. Such a display will do It's so easy to get a get speed as Lubu because this tome lasts forever. Let's go. It's actually kind of an inconvenience because I can't pick up the second one until this one is fully exhausted. There we go. <laughs> Meanwhile, Diao Chan <laughs> getting your ass kicked by Yuan Chao. There's a line. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? My lord, Cao Cao's forces have been routed. They are finished already? I had expected a little more from them. Also, I noticed uh, on the horse, fight, actually fighting on horseback for once, that uh, you can actually block all. behind you on horseback. Of course, that was a guard break, but... The freaking lightning arrows. Piece of deadlock animation got rid of most of them. Or at least it let me iframe through most of them. He doesn't want to get grabbed. But he did. It is really fun to play as Yuan Chao. Alright, uh, it's Lubu though. <laughs> we're getting bored of a Warriors game, just plays Lubu. <laughs>
Get over it, aristocrat. He lived. I told you we weren't going to see him die at Guandu anymore. Returning in triumph after his rampage at Guandu, the smell of battle greeted Lu Bu like an old friend. Liu Yong and Wang Lang, driven out of their lands to the south by the Sun family, cooperated with Cao Cao in a scheme to subdue Lu Bu and take Shu province. Despite the overwhelming weakness of his enemies, Lu Bu was simply happy to be on the battlefield once again. Leaving the defense of Xia Pi to Cheng Gong, Lu Bu went to Xi Ting as if lured by the mere smell of battle. Lured by the smell of Xi Ting. Liu Yong, Wang Lang, who are they exactly? They're no one of any real importance. Just some of the clans who until recently had lived in the Zhongdong area. It's nothing you need to concern yourself about. I have no doubt they're merely an annoyance. An annoyance? Ten Gong, Zhang Liao, I'll be busy. Make sure the forces are ready for the next battle. You mean to... you're going to fight them by yourself? Do you think I'll need your help to squash some bugs? We can't let him. No need to worry yourself. I shall send our lord's personal guards to follow him. <laughs> Such occurrences as this cannot be avoided. That is the nature of the man we follow. Yes, you're right. See, that's how you tell Chen Gong's a good strategist. Especially for Lubu. He's already discussed it with the troops in advance, so he can just wave his hand and they know to follow Lubu. Lubu's run off to attack someone again. Go guard him. <laughs> Defeat Taishi Tzu. What's the condition here? Wipe out all enemy units. I mean, if I have to defeat everyone, this target is pointless, because Taichi C is going to get defeated anyways. The rest is just basic stuff. Taichi C is not the commander, but he basically is. Okay, you can activate your tome immediately. Meanwhile, I have to go and find one. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? And by who in that defense time too, it'd really make him last a while. And that wore off. They just keep coming to this base. They won't let me take it. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Oh, my God. 
finally. This base is all mine. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Just waiting for the tone to wear off. That's ah, about to disappear. Come on. Go away. Leave. <laughs> wear out. There we go. <laughs> I was getting close. Hello, Wizzy Tekken. Want you. It's just the army of the generics. This base is all mine. He's just smart enough to try to run away. He's never smart enough to think to do it when it's not too late. This base is all mine. There's a lot of enemy officers on the right. And these guys are right in front of me, though. I hope you enjoy this. Now I'm going to crush you. Actually, it seems to be they're winning over there on the right. He's just like, no. Stay and protect that one base in the corner of the map. It's not going to accomplish anything. I love just picking up the spoils after you slaughter a group of enemies as Lubu. Go throw Taishi to see a bone and fight him. I should see. What are you doing? <laughs> already and face Lubu. My thanks. It doesn't even complain. What a nice guy. Lubu, I challenge you. You will pay the price for your lawless ways. Ah, you look at this somewhat interesting. Now I have someone to amuse myself with. God, just impaled that horse right there. Also, I love Lubu's reaction to Tai Chi T is somewhat interesting. Is this the best that they could bring? That wasn't nearly enough. 
Now back to the regular music. You have proven yourself a raving beast. Now that's the cage. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? They're even stronger than I thought. Okay, now they're losing over there on the right. What's a defeat condition? Wish you would cross, okay. really make Lubu's stage just fun. The bunch of enemies you just tear through. I'll have a thousand KOs again by the time this is over with. All the ESP. Try your best, Leo Young. I give him credit. At least he didn't try to run away or something. Oh, nice, and my ally took the base in the bottom right. Let's duel. I'm not fighting the lieutenant. Yep. There we go. Wanted to land that grab on him. <laughs> I love that you just get sent flying. Finished already? And they dared stand before me with this. Stand before me! Will they play Dynasty Warrior 6 special? Yeah, I, I fully intend to. More attack. Lord, 
Please forgive us. We were only doing what Cao Cao ordered us to do. It's true. Yes, it's true. We were obeying orders. We prefer to obey your orders, Lord. You're the superior man. Let us help you win the land. Enough! I don't need more strength. Or wisdom. Having you around would weigh me down. You want to live? Then go! Hmm. Let's go now. <laughs> I just shrug. <laughs> Lubu could have had a much bigger fighting force, but nah, didn't want it. Lubu's army is comprised of elites. Lubu easily knocked aside the enemy at Shi Ting, but was not satisfied with the quality of his opponents. Embracing a hunger for more difficult fights, Lubu returned to the castle of Xia Pi, where Cheng Dong was defending. Meanwhile, Cao Cao had recovered from the setback he was dealt by Lu Bu at Guan Yu and pursued Liu Bei south. He was setting up for a battle against the combined forces of Liu Bei and Sun Quan. The smell of such a large-scale battle once again called out to Lu Bu. Please wait, my lord. This battle is the largest and most dangerous we've ever been in. My advice would be that you wait until their forces have been weakened, and then join the fray. You're wasting your breath. You cannot stop him. It's not something Lord Lu Bu would even consider. I will fight. I refuse to stay here while you go out alone. I will join you in the battle. Time to show those who would wage war what the consequences of their actions are. To war! Hmm. I prefer action to talk. Still, good speech. Uh, now they're both going. I wash my hands of it. <laughs> Let's go. I love how ragtag the whole group feels. But they do feel like a nice group. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess I'll try Lubu's alternate outfit, see what that looks like. Beat Cao Cao and Sun Quan in 10 minutes. Defeat Zhuge Liang. None of your units withdraw. What's the condition? Kill everything. Alright, cool. <laughs> oh yeah, Tianwei just alive. And my god, the force he is commanding. He's more sub-officers, or lieutenants I guess, than Cao Cao. It's ridiculous. I do like that it includes his son, though. I think Dion Man is his son, anyways. Related to him somehow. Lupu is effectively stepping on three sets of toes in this battle. Oh, <laughs> look at them, all gold. Interesting. Tao Tao, Sun Quan, I have come in search of amusement. Entertain me if you can. <laughs> My lord, a strange boat has been sighted on the Sun side of the river. It reeks of oil. My lord, the scouts report a strange altar near the enemy camp. A most ingenious plot. It appears that they're planning to set fire to the ships. If it succeeds, this battle will be decided. I like how Chin Gong immediately realized what Wu was trying to do. It is his son? Yeah, I assume.
is all mine. Where is one guy exactly? Okay, <laughs> I thought I thought that showed him in the main camp. Yeah, he's just waiting there on that boat. I'm gonna try and go after Jiggle De Jong first. And then see if I can go back at the one guy and stop him in time. I like how you're not getting an objective to stop him, it's just sort of like, okay. That causes it to fail. I thought I'd still have to defeat uh, Huang Gai, but now he's abandoning the boat. I just give up. Oh, look at Wu's morale. Just gone. But hey, we got to stop the fire attack for once. What are you doing down there? Already down here, let's go after Sun Quan. <laughs> He's so fucking cocky when he has no right to be. Not dead. That show you has become dangerous in his grief. I believe it would be wise to stop him before he gains in strength. <laughs> oh, I have failed. Forgive me, but we are no longer able to send the boat. Well, the strategy already failed, so... Probably mattered at this point, one guy. Man, <laughs> Sao was merciless, just tearing through Wu. That's how it could have spawned, or... He teleported! Wait, where the fuck is Sao Sao? Oh! Okay. Didn't think he'd be down there fighting on the front lines while Shun Yu was just chilling at the main camp. cares about that. Now where is Sao Sao ended up now? <laughs> just Wei is just running all over the battlefield.
There you are. Saying that. This base is all mine. Pretty sure Dion Way is still on the map. Oh! Really? Ah! Joe, you just got taken out like a bitch off screen. Okay, so what's supposed to happen is if you defeat. It's out town soon one, like, side by side, are close enough to each other. Then Dion Wei and Joe Yu will just call a truce, and they'll just both go after Lu Bu, which is what I wanted to have happen. But Joe Yu had to die like a bitch. To be fair, I also took longer to do it because I wasn't expecting Sao to... Oh, you're still doing it? Wait, who... who... Oh, okay. Zhou Yu is defeated. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was saying Cell G defeated Zhou Yu. Okay. Now they're working together. <laughs> the worst possible scenario. Shin Kong's morale is rising. <laughs> He's just like, fuck it. I'm all for it. <laughs> oh yeah, apparently multiple people in the chat thought that as well. <laughs> thought that Joe Yu had died. <laughs> we are all literate. Yeah, apparently. Nice just being able to tank through with the strangle attacks. Alright, who's still standing and why are they? Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? I'll be back. I know your face now. Remember that. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Can anybody provide me Actually not with a sure if Dion Wei shows up again. There are so many battles like this where just the enemy just go, we can't handle Lubu, and you just decide to charge him with everything they've got. intoxicated with his own beauty. Can anybody 
<laughs> Lidion's the last one standing. All because he stayed in the back. All right, boys, we're going swimming. And DL John. My beauty must not be soiled by defeat. I shall return. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Just thinking if it actually follow me out into the water. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Look, you vermin. I, Lu Fu, am the victor of TV. I must admit, it had its interesting moments. There are none who can stand before me! <laughs> it's at max level, Grand General. But uh, his stats aren't showing... 1000s and everything right now, but that will soon be corrected. Now he has a thousand stats and everything. Just hits the stat cap everywhere. Oh yeah, when you get a character to level 50, you unlock their voice gallery. and advanced to Yi, whose ruler, Liu Zhang, fled the moment he heard Lu Bu was coming. <laughs> Lu Bu easily subdued Yi province and its capital of Chengdu, establishing a new base there. Liu Zhang, the smartest motherfucker in this story. <laughs> Since the beginning of his campaign, Lu Bu had tried to carry the battle to the capital. To this end, he advanced north from Chengdu to Mount Dingzhu. However, within the mountains, Zhang Jiao and Dong Zhuo returned from the grave in search of vengeance. Could Lu Bu's might reach even the realm of the undead? We are now in extreme what-if territory. <laughs> Back from the grave. to rid the land of Lubu. Now, we will join our strength together and we'll destroy this beast born of the blue dragon! <laughs> <laughs> we are up against a formidable enemy. I hear nothing but the babble of vermin. Why should I be frightened of them? I'll soon put them back in their rotting graves. I love how Jean Liao just doesn't at all sound sure about what he's saying. <laughs> it's like, I guess we're fighting this now. <laughs> Louis just isn't bothered. Look at that, all 1000s. It's glorious. Take Mount Cha Ki and Ding Jun in 15 minutes. Enemy forces do not enter Louis' main camp. Win in 20 minutes. Conditions kill everyone. <laughs> They're even hanging out in the same main camp. You dog! 
No, perhaps swine or vermin is better for you. I shall make sure you never rise again. I like how he tried to use other insults and then just settled on vermin anyways. <laughs> Kind of stuff I love from what if though. Just yeah, give me some crazy bullshit. Let's have Don Juo and the Yellow Termins come back from the dead so Lubu can fight them. Why? I don't know, they were angry enough. <laughs> Even though Lubu did fucking nothing to Shane Zhao. <laughs> According to him, Don Juo was one of his enemies, even though they never really fought in this game. So if anything, Lubu did him a favor by killing Don Juo. anyone remember this on the PS2. I've actually never played Light Louis stages on the PS2. Not really much reason to. Like right now, I could be playing this on the PS2 version. But it just runs better on PS3. Repeating his lines from the Old Urban Rebellion. Guess we're seeing Phantom Soldiers again. Well, I guess we're not really seeing them, are we? First line from Diao Chan may have been unique to the stage. Maybe plays if you get close to her. I'm even picking up the ESP right now. He's at max level. It does nothing for me. Will 
My followers will be here with reinforcements soon. Blue Boo, you are doomed. My lord, enemy reinforcements are approaching. But didn't your army just revive itself? <laughs> Why would you need reinforcements? How does that work? Dewey's putting up a decent fight. Who burned the reinforcements? It was just one guy, wasn't it? Just leaving. Okay. Apparently, he was late to being revived. Fucking predator reference in my Dynasty Warriors? What is this? Amazing! We will have to display our strength as well. What made me play Dynasty Warriors? I played it when I was a kid. And I haven't stopped. <laughs> You can tell they were having fun with this Fuso mode. I guess the voice recorders are the, uh... The guys in the voicing studio realized, like, we just had a character just come back to life for no fucking reason. Let's just say whatever we want now. <laughs> So I am curious if the line in Japanese was something similar, and they just decided to make it a Predator quote. Few officers trying to break through, but they're not making any progress. I guess I got plenty of time to take that mountain. Oh, who did the main camp? Oh well. Like, there's still two guys out in front of the main camp defending it, so I'm not sure how anyone entered it, but whatever. Maybe I not someone in there. And not that it matters. Oh no, I get less EXP with this max leveled character. Of course, Instinct still demands I pick up any ESP I see. Fa Shang not being a bro in this Musa mode. He's great in uh, Dice Warriors 8. Everything before that, he just a Don's Roll lackey.
<laughs> Who else was late to coming back from the dead? How do you be late for that? Who knows, maybe this saddle would be red hair. It could be. so I can fail that objective if just even a peon enters the main camp. Alright, well that seems ridiculous. Who showed up for reinforcements this time? Hu Jin. Chong died to a base. Ah, uh, what a bitch. Things have taken a turn for the worse. I wonder if I can pull through this. Ah, uh, you'll be fine, Yao Chan, probably. I never had an excuse to go down this tiny path before. It's kind of pretty. Son of a bitch, grab me. I was gonna try and grab him, but he ended up dying to one combo. Like a bitch. Who's my favorite character, and why is it Duitzi? <laughs> well, it's not Duitzi. Uh, it would be CVE for Dynasty Warriors and Katara Fuma for Samurai Warriors. The return of Pei Yuan Chao. Oh, 
Somebody provide me with a decent challenge! A strength in our defense. We'll hold them off and wait for our chance to strike. He just owns his own Phantom Soldiers. Judge Allen don't draw with a duel. I couldn't really tell what was going on there. I was just attacking and Dondro died in the middle of it. I was trying not to hit him too much to get a thousand KOs. It doesn't matter which pair of fools join together. None can stand against me! who can stand before me! Oh, Captain showing up late to the stream. <laughs> Repeat everything I had said, including what the chat said. Uh. No. That horse's name was Black Bull, and it was white, and also not a bull. Having defeated Zhang Xiao and Dong Zhuo, Lu Bu swept through Luoyang and came to Hulao Gate. Waiting for him there was a massive coalition of all the heroes and generals who had previously suffered at the hands of Lu Bu. Standing before him was a line of well-known faces, Cao Cao, Liu Bei, and Sun Quan, all brought together into a single massive force by their mutual hatred of Lu Bu. Thrown into trembling rapture at the sight, Lu Bu leapt onto the battlefield in eager anticipation of what would be his greatest challenge yet. <laughs> Look at the lineup. <laughs> you watch Jail's just like, what the fuck are these two doing? <laughs> well, Making an oath. Well, well. Quite a compliment to have all these heroes join together to face us in battle. It would appear they object to what we've been doing throughout the land. What a pity. Object. It is foolish for them to object. It is the natural way for vermin to give way to strength. You are correct, of course. Still, it seems like the entire land has come here to destroy you. It wasn't very wise of them. I'm glad they came here to fight. I will teach all of them a lesson. They will fall to the greatest warrior in the world. Yeah, Li Bei and Sun Quan leading the charge. <laughs> Don Zhuo and Yuan Chao just sort of in the middle. Jane Zhao, pretty far back. And Cao Cao's not even here. Pretty sure he shows up later. Ah, <laughs> Liu Zhang, just a regular guy. <laughs> Liu Zhang's a guy that only, like, goes into a fight knowing he's gonna win. Or at least expecting heavily he's going to win. Conditions. Kill everyone. Right. Targets. Defeat. Li Bei, Sun Quan, Dong Zhuo, Yuan Chao, and Zhang Zhao in 15 minutes. Do not allow either of Hulao gates to be breached. None of you units will crawl. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Liu Xiang be like, all right, I'm ready now. <laughs> you come to beat me? <laughs> come, you swine. I'll send you to an early grave. I think this is an ointment. Yep. Leave a vault first, like he's some generic officer. Damn, Diao Chan, that was quick. <laughs> At least they had new lines for that. Just, you know, if she dies. Which can happen really fucking easily, apparently. That sub officer just disappeared. Oh, Chen Gong, you're not allowed to die. Yeah, Chen is whatever, but. Gangs and Zan gets a unique line. Gangs still alive. Hoping he is. He should be able to heal himself. Will these vermin never learn? I shall prevail no matter how many appear. True to your reputation. Such a display Also, the Ochun's line, she just said, I am lost. Like, it didn't really sound like she was dying, it sounded more like she was literally lost. Didn't know where to go. You believe your wits are a match of mine. Not sure I wanted to grab it, okay. It is you who embody the chaos of our world. You will be stopped. I shall be the one to do it. Ha! More peons marching to their own slaughter. I feel like he's used that line in like every Warriors game. I'm not sure if he said it in three or four. He says it in the cutscene in five. Base is all mine. 
Oh yeah, that was good because Zon alive. Shouldn't you want Xiao killed him? <laughs> Maybe he came, came back from the dead too. Everyone's just coming back from the dead in this. I honestly didn't even see Yuan Chu there for a second. Tone still back here. And it was like they despawned. Damn. There was two of them right here, but I couldn't pick any, either of them up. Go ahead and defeat this guy right here. Then I'll jump down on the bases. Oh, Hong Ju is actually in the game, huh? And he's a young strategist, that's weird. He was a ruler in the last game. Give yeah, it which Liu? They don't feel like you're part of Liu Bei's family. Muso is a shockwave effect. So it does. Interesting. I actually didn't know it had a track wave. Because there's so few instances you'd want to waste your Muso on a horse. Get them to spawn. It's 
It doesn't matter how often they come. I shall destroy them each time. Even Yan Hai by who came back to fight us. You have trampled the precepts of Kajusha and extinguished the light of truth. Such acts cannot be forgiven. Whatever you say. You know what? I'll let you guys take over this watchtower. No special line for Yan Baihu, though. More of the generics had extra lines than I ever recalled. I'm not sure if that was a generic line or a line for Liu Yong specifically. Or stomp. <laughs> Just jumped into a duel, sure. I shall personally, as the duel with Lieutenant starts. This is not a fair duel. I'll be fighting someone and then one of their friends just comes in and attacks. You want a fucking duel like this? Fine. For the hellway issue. At least you're not playing by the rules too. This one is heroic. I guess I need to pick up the pace. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? This time I was merely testing you. Challenge. Back in the ring. Can anybody provide me All right. Actually, fought a duel to its completion for once. This base is all mine. 
Still wasn't a fair fight, but whatever. Shin Gong, what are you doing up there? I was dueling and he's just charging so far ahead. about. I can't roll my R's, by the way. Never expect me to do that, including Jane Zhao. Oh, and he has Phantom Soldiers, just part of his, part of his team. wasn't fair because Wei Shu helped me. You know what? You're right. Oh, damn it! How did Ching Gong get past it without taking it over? Strange fate, is it not, Lu Bu? The entire land has been united with the sole purpose of ridding it of you. <laughs> Hello, Shang Zhang Zhao, flying. <laughs> All right, time to save. Before anything else happens. Everyone just respawned with sub officers, too. We must act together. Forward. I'm pretty sure they all just rush towards Lubu. One shall state his family honor on defeating Lubu. I think that means he went in like hyper mode or something. Ah. Having stun resistance isn't that great when the enemy can deal that much damage to you. Another tone behind me. Oh, was everyone, wasn't it? Wait. Ah, the final challenge. The true commander. Sao Rui. Sao Sao's grandchild. This is it. <laughs> Father. Brother. 
Forgive me. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? I should never have taken you in. Can anybody you kind of fucked up there, yeah, honestly. Can anybody provide me with a decent challenge? Anybody provide me with a decent challenge? The yellow turtles have fallen. <laughs> that happened a long time ago. Decent challenge. All right, Sari. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> the final boss. Come on, at least grab him. <laughs> okay, went out like a bitch. Died to a whiffed grab attack. How ridiculously anticlimactic. <laughs> Sarah, he doesn't even know the coalition was already wiped out. He, he doesn't even know how important this battle is. He thinks he's just accompanying his granddad. Just going on a business trip. Are there no others? Is there no one left to challenge me? I'll take a great grandchild. The end? Are there no more great battles for me to join? More! I still wish to wield my blade in battle! I do not care who! Come and face me! Come and face the great Lubu! A five-year-old with a spear just walks up. <laughs> Yeah, I got a better weapon than one I have. I'll just, yeah, I'll replace that one. Oh, Dio Chan got better. Lord, the forces of Salpi of Hebei approach. Master Chen Gong, we defeated all the armies of the land. We defeated the chaos. Still, the battles don't abate. There is no peace in the land. You thought that defeating all enemies would end the fighting, but defeating chaos is not as simple as that. I fear. Using war to end war, but offering nothing else to replace it. So the void is filled with more war. Is that so bad, though? You need only look at the smiling face of our lord. <laughs> Chen Gong in this fucking chaotic neutral stance. There is a force approaching from the west that we've never seen before. <laughs> Referencing the character not playable in the game, and samurai warriors coming to fight. Shang Bao, yeah. <laughs> a lord of war. Alright, that's an appropriate title for Lubu. <laughs> yeah, Lubu's story is just fucking fun. That was great. Holy shit, Night and Stone for his wife. $95.47. I don't know why that awkward number, but I appreciate it. That was fun, looking forward to the encyclopedia reading stream. Please don't make me. <laughs> <laughs> but really, though, thanks, holy shit. <laughs> There's red hair. <laughs> you unlocked. Yeah, that's still totally it. <laughs> KG suddenly shows up. Hey there! <laughs> it's 
specifically Samurai Warriors 1 Gage. <laughs> It's, it's easily the most fun I've had with Dynasty Warrior 6, just playing this Musa mode. <laughs> Encyclopedia reading stream win. Uh, when either I get a copious, and I mean a copious amount of money tossed at me, <laughs> or I've played every Warriors game and have nothing else left to do. <laughs> Credits need a jump scare. I do enjoy the credit music. Oh yeah, someone said <laughs> finally Lubu could fight France. <laughs> it's not actually like the Samurai Warriors attacking, it's fucking France. <clears throat> I had a cough there. Oh, thanks, Frozen Wolf. And that's going slightly less interesting stuff, but oh well. Have some money. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, after this is, uh... The Dynasty Warriors 6 Special Muso Modes. Which, uh... Who all gets a Muso Mode? The Machao gets one, and Yu Yin gets one. And Taishi C and Ling Tong get one. And Zheng Hei and Selby. Though. Uh, I am sorry, my voice is just giving out today. <laughs> it's a good thing this stream's over. But uh, I am going to take a bit of a break from streaming. It's because I've, I've had a bit too much of Dynasty Warrior 6. <laughs> like, this was really fun to end on. So, uh, I'm going to take a break and uh, upload some other videos I have. And uh, then I got three hopes coming out pretty soon. I think that comes out, like, 24th. I want to play that and record that and put those videos up. And then probably once that's done, then I'll get back to streaming Dynasty Warrior 6. Or start streaming Dynasty Warrior 6 special. We'll have six more Muso modes to go through, and then I'll play Dynasty Warrior 6 Empires. Requesting characters to play. Uh, I'm not going to play anyone right now. Alright, well, this was a lot of fun, so thanks for watching. See you guys next time.